So today we are, uh, I'm gonna bring you with me. We're gonna go do some, a uh, little bit of irrigation. Kind of shows what I do. And uh, looks like it's gonna be a good day to do this. And uh, we, we will have a lot of fun. Well, I have a lot of fun. So, gotta put the camera down so I can drive. It when you get halfway down the road and you just realize that, wow, I forgot my wallet, or I forgot this, or I forgot that. Ugh, it's such a delay to the day. I hope the rest of the day goes good. Okay, so I have started up the irrigation system and already found a leak. I didn't have any pressure. So, I will show you what is going on. We will walk over here and uh, take a look. When I turn the irrigation on, so this is a spigot, okay? I have unscrewed that because, you see the crack? So it is spraying all over the house and I have no pressure. So I'm going to be cutting this approximately down here. I'll put a coupler on it, put a brand new pipe in there, schedule 40. And um, we will get her fixed. I've cut this pipe and you can tell that it has been painted green. So we are going to have to uh, get this green off of there. The glue, this is a main line and it will always have irrigation on it. Always have pressure on it. So we are going to, I've got to uh, sand this down. Get that paint off there. Okay, so there we have the pipe. It is fixed. I've already energized it, turned it on, and she is good to go. Alrighty, well, so I just got done with that uh, startup. Everything went well, besides that one break that we had. And uh, I am heading to number two. Stay tuned. Okay, so one cool thing that we can do to these controllers. So here we have our controller, okay? And when we open this up, this will actually be closed. This is what you will see. Okay, and you have all this, and this can turn everywhere, programs and all this. So, you open this up, you see a remote. Well, I have one. This is the Rainbird remote. So here you have a transmitter, you have your remote, and these are the dudes that plug in to the controller. This is a 5 pin, this is a 6 pin. This particular model uses a 6 pin, you can see there. So I'll show you how this works, very simple. So this just undoes. It just comes apart. That rubber there just is there. And what you will do is let me get a key here. So this and this, and they just slide together. You have metal contacts there, you have contacts there. They simply slide together till they click. That's it. So when you come up here, come up here, you will see the six-prong, and let that hang, so it's out of my way. 
you will see the six prong and it says this side out and we just find their little homes there we are and simply just push them down on there that's it I will set this up here if it will stop falling you can see that the uh, communicating light is flashing green that means it has power so then what we do here is um, simply press the power button we have a power stop home and uh, you can see it powering up here so you have link link receiver options menu zone irrigation menu so we don't need to do the link receiver because we've already I've already linked this controller up it says uh, receiver number one that's what I've linked it up as so we will press zone and we are going to test all systems all zones there um, it's asking about the minutes we will press five minutes per zone and the reason I press five is because I can fast forward through each one okay then we press next it's going to ask what zone um, to activate well we want to start with zone one and we look at the controller there is zone number eight come down to here zero uh, and this thing is very fast you have to be fast with it so let's start over um, we want to test we go for five minutes we want to start on zone one and we want to go to zone eight and then we can press start it says communicating zone one okay okay there we have it so let's see if zone one is running right now it's in the off position but there you have zone one is running for five minutes that's how you use this rainbird sensor I mean rainbird remote so we will walk outside here okay and uh, I've got to turn the water on so I've got to turn the water on um, so the first thing I have to do is locate all of the all of the water spigots and where everything's at. Um, it's not uh, it's not a it's not a crazy job, um, but it is very time-consuming if you don't know where everything is. And it's good to know where everything's at. And if you don't know, it's good to write everything down. Maybe save it for later. Um, very beneficial. However, this is an existing customer of mine. And I do know where everything's at. So, um, I will show you here in just a second of the system going. If you hear about people talking about a backflow, this is the backflow. This brass piece here. This is the backflow. Here lies a check valve. Here is an air valve. These have to be certified through the state of Indiana yearly. And as you can tell, this one has been certified last year, 2017, April 2017. So we will be recertifying that this year. Some places I go to are just, just magnificent. This is a leak. Do you see it? 